Hello, uh, welcome to the booth of uh, Teledyne E2V Semiconductors here in Milan. Uh, we've had a, a great show, uh, a lot of it due to our uh, latest component uh, that we've been demonstrating on this show. It's, a, uh, it's the world first KA band capable uh, microwave direct conversion DAC. So this DAC is able to convert from uh, low frequency right the way up to KA band around about 25 gigahertz. And we've been running this demo and it's got a, a, a lot of uh, interest and a lot of people have been stopping by at the booth. So um, I'll show you the demo now. You can see here, this is our evaluation board. Um, the DAC is here uh, and is being driven by this FPGA. Uh, we're supplying a clock to the DAC, at, uh, which enables a sample rate of 10 gigasamples per second. Uh, and the output of the DAC is going to the spectrum analyzer and that's being displayed on the screen behind you. Uh, because the DAC can uh, do a direct conversion to uh, 25 gigahertz, this is uh, allowing system designers to uh, rethink the way that they design their systems because it allows them to cut out stages of up conversion and that gives them much more flexibility it gives them uh, a big advantage in terms of size, weight and power. So this is the, the real reason why we've had a lot of people coming to the stand uh, looking at this, uh, this, this demo. Um, just a little bit more information about the demo. Um, what we can see on the screen behind us is actually the, the fifth Nyquist zone. And we, uh, the, the FPGA is generating this uh, fancy pattern that you can see here, it's uh, just something that we've developed uh, as, as part of the uh, FPGA code. Uh, and this uh, uh, pattern is being uh, shifted from 20 gigahertz uh, right the way up to 25 gigahertz. So what we're looking at there is the fifth Nyquist zone coming out of the DAC. Um, another interesting point uh, about the, our DAC um, not only does it have uh, world-beating uh, analog performance uh, in terms of the DAC core, the analog output bandwidth and, and the sample rate, but it has a, a, a lot of uh, new digital features that are unique in the market as well. And one thing that uh, we're demonstrating here is the ability to frequency hop a signal uh, using control within the DAC. So this, this frequency hop is not being done in the FPGA, it's being done by the DAC itself under control of the FPGA. Uh, so there's no extra processing that's needed in the FPGA, it's all done in the DAC. Uh, the DAC also has uh, other advantages in terms of digital features. It can do uh, uh, beamforming, there's a gain and a phase uh, adjust on, on each channel. Uh, it can do uh, DDS, so uh, you can output uh, single tone sine waves, and it can also uh, output a, a chirp. Um, so uh, radar signals can be generated using the DAC alone. There's no need to have an extra FPGA. The chirp can be generated, start frequency, stop frequency and time of the chirp right from the, uh, the DAC. So uh, th this is causing a, a, a lot of uh, interest for radar systems designers. Uh, one other thing that's uh, uh, very useful in the DAC uh, because of its uh, high analog output bandwidth capability and the fact that uh, the part uh, has two channels, the, 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 the component itself has two channels of 12 gigasample per second, uh, 25 uh, gigahertz bandwidth uh, uh, capability. This means that simultaneously the part can uh, output free, uh, signals in, in frequency domains uh, quite separate. So for example, uh, one uh, of, the, of the channels could be outputting a signal, uh, let's say in L-band and X-band, uh, and th those, those signals could be differentiated just by putting a bandpass filter on the output of the DAC. So with one channel, we've got L-band signals and X-band signals, and then with the other channel, for example, we could be outputting S-band signals and KA band signals. And there you just need a bandpass filter around the S band and a bandpass filter around the KA band.
So that's another great advantage, simultaneous multiband signal generation and synchronized signal generation as well, so that's important. Uh, so f finally, um, this part, it's uh, space going to be space qualified, it's been designed with all the uh, all the design uh, regulations for a space environment, but obviously it's going to be available in uh, uh, lower uh, qualification standards as well. So we're finding great interest for this part in telecommunication systems, millimeter wave telecommunication systems for direct conversion. We're finding great interest for this part in radar systems and also in uh, arbitrary waveform generation systems. So thanks very much for coming to the stand and uh, I hope you uh, uh, have some uh, interest, uh, please give us a call at uh, Teledyne ETV uh, Semiconductors. Thank you.